फाइव सेकेंड्स टू ओ स्टार्ट ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग इन इंडिया वाज अंडर द पब्लिक सेक्टर अंटिल अ फ्यू डिकेड्स बैक द सिनेरियो हैड बीन द सेम एवर सिंस द कंट्रीज इंडिपेंडेंस इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन हाउ एवर द पब्लिक सेक्टर सून बिगेन टू सफर लॉसिज इन वेरियस फील्ड्स एंड देर वाज अ शिफ्ट टू प्राइवेटाइजेशन पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिट्स हैव बीन सर्विंग द इंडियन पब्लिक एवर सिंस दियर इनिशिएशन पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस हाउ एवर दे हैव दियर सेट ऑफ लिमिटेशंस कीपिंग दिस इन माइंड मैनी सेक्टर्स इन द कंट्री हैव बीन प्राइवेटाइज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ प्राइवेटाइजेशन in india has been a topic of constant debate privatization is the process of shifting the public sector industries to private sector the decision for privatization is taken to lower the burden and role of the government in different industries it affects the government in various ways the government economics are impacted a great deal by way of privatization the effect of privatization on government economics is largely positive this can very well be judged by the speed at which the government is privatizing various industries that were once governed by the public sector many industries under the public sector in our country had been suffering major losses owing to poor management inadequate knowledge of the owners and lack of proper resources the brunt of this loss had to be borne by the government as public enterprises were funded by the government it affected the government economics adversely the decision of privatizing various sectors has come as a relief to the government this has reduced the wastage of government resources and wealth privatization has led to the power in the hands of more learned and skilled professionals the government tests the efficiency of the positive private owners before handing over the responsibility of a particular sector to them unlike when it is in the hands of the public sector until an industry is under the public sector it is governed by the government and there is a lot of interference from the political parties a lot of politics and corruption goes about in such cases a number of scams related to various sectors that have been revealed in the past are an example of the high level of corruption that takes place in the public sector the finances that must be used to improve and enhance different services under the public sector and misused by the corrupt government servants and politicians this corruption involving the misuse of government's wealth has subsidized and with the initiation of privatization hence 
privatization has had a positive impact on the government economics the banking sector is in india was initially under the public sector however a number of factors led to the decision of privatization of this sector the impact of privatization of the indian banking sector has largely been positive however it also has its set of drawbacks with the privatization of the banking sector in india the power to run this sector has gone in comparatively efficient hands this has thus improved the condition of the banking sector in the country quite a few private banks have been opened in the country and the competition in this sector has led to improved service each bank is making an effort to provide better services to fetch more and more customers unlike earlier when people suffered due to monopoly of the banking sector in an attempt to lure more customers and make more profit to the private banks keep coming up with new schemes that offer greater rate of interest and various other benefits to the consumers this works in the benefit of the general public with the privatization of the banking sector the customer support service has also improved private banks have their own call centers that are dedicated towards answering the queries of the customers adhering to their complaints and taking service requests this is a great add on for the customers who earlier had to visit the bank for each and every task since private banks aim at making more and more profit to stay ahead of their competitors they at times use unfair means to amp their profit ratio this may include providing incomplete or wrong information to the customers at the time of opening of account or while rendering loan or credit card customers often suffer due to this as the as they do not get the kind of return they are committed or have to pay more interest in case of loan just as various other sectors that have been privatized the indian banking sector has also benefited largely by privatization the services and schemes being provided by the banking sector have improved owing to the competition among different private banks however since the ultimate aim of the private bank owners is to earn profit they at times misguide their customers perspective customers to make profit in a democratic government the public can question the government for the service provided by the public sector and the government is bound to show the clear picture however the private sector organizations are not bound by any such law and thus there is lack of transparency privatization has led to 
numerous choices with various sectors the same goods and services are offered at different rates quality and variety by different private sector owners thereby adding to the confusion of the customer many industries and sectors in india as well as other countries come under the public sector which means they are owned and run by the government agencies however gradually there has been a shift from these being governed by the public sector to the private sector this shift has been termed as privatization a number of factors have led to this change many developed nations started out with the privatization of different industries to overcome the limitations faced by the public sector and india followed the lead soon under privatization either the government held asset have been sold to the private owners and they have been given the whole and sole responsibility of handling certain industries or the government has allowed the private businesses to participate in the functioning of some industries stop